What's up guys? Today I've got my hands on the Nebula Cosmos 4K. So this is a powerful laser projector featuring native 4K resolution. It supports HDR10 and comes with official certified Android TV OS. And there are some special offers available so you can save yourself some money. Check out the links and possible promo codes that I'll leave for you in the description box for more info on those offers. The build quality is made from polycarbonate with lots of ventilation on both sides. The projector certainly has some weight to it and it does feel super solid with a very nice strong rugged handle. Now on the top it says laser powered and you've got this lined grooved finish and over here you can see you've got power button and you've got some touch controls and there's a rubberized finish on those controls. Now on the front you can see your high powered laser lens. Now the laser engine projectors do provide you 1.8 times brighter than the equivalent powered LED projectors. So expect better brightness, expect better color and lower power consumption. Now these little holes you see around the projector are a whole bunch of important sensors. This one over here is your high powered camera, which helps to identify your viewing space and adjust the size accordingly. Over here, you can see your infrared scanner and you have two time of flight sensors as well. So two TOF sensors. And with all of these sensors combined, the projector can give you autofocus, auto keystone correction, auto screen fit. So if your wall is not big enough, it can automatically adjust the picture to fit your wall. And you also have a very important feature. You've got advanced eye guard. So if a human is detected walking past or in front of the projector, the laser light will dim to a safe level. On the back, you can see we have power socket. You've got an HDMI input so you can hook up your favorite game console or even your favorite TV box. We've got a USB for your multimedia and you've got an audio jack in case you wanted to use your own speaker system. The projector is 22 centimeters in height. It's 26.3 centimeters in depth and it's 16.5 centimeters in width. And the projector weighs 4.8 kgs. So it's got some weight to it too. Okay, so let's just quickly run through the specs. So this is a laser DLP projector. The laser life is 25,000 hours. There is two gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. Brightness is a whopping 1,840 ANSI lumens. This is probably going to be the brightest projector we've ever seen on the channel so far. So I can't wait to power this thing on. Native resolution is 4K. That's 3840 by 2160. And it does support HDR10. Now this also features built in 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. You've got Bluetooth version 5. This does feature Android TV OS version 10. That's officially certified Android TV OS. This also features autofocus and auto keystone correction and auto screen fit. Maximum optimal screen size is 150 inches. This does have HDMI input, so you can hook up your favorite game console or TV box or Fire TV stick and enjoy that on the big screen. Now for audio, you've got two times 10 watt speakers and you've got two times five watt speakers. So there's four speakers set up inside and it does also support Dolby Audio. All right, so first thing is first, let's test out the fan noise. So standing right next to the projector, you can expect a fan noise of around 38 decibels. And if we move back one meter, the fan noise then drops down to around 35 decibels. And we are about two meters away from the wall in front of us. And we're projecting close to 90 inches. Now the first test we're gonna do is playing 4K videos from a USB drive. And I am gonna do this using the MX player that I've just downloaded. This is 4K 60 with HDR directly from a USB drive. <laughs> Okay, HDR playing beautifully from USB. Now I want to try a 3D video. So I'm playing a 3D video. It hasn't automatically detected it's 3D. So I guess we have to go to advanced settings, click on 3D and select 3D side by side. So it's currently switching to 3D mode now. So this is 3D mode and all you need now is your passive glasses. <laughs> Now 
let's open up YouTube and play a whole bunch of trailers. We're going to start off with the usual Costa Rica demo. And as you can see, maximum resolution supported is 4K60 with HDR. Oh my god. This is the best projection quality I have ever experienced in a projector. Now, if we just do a quick close up, you will see there is no chance of pixelation. It's very vibrant, it's very bright. Color accuracy is amazing. Um, it's almost like I can reach out and touch the lizard. It looks that lifelike. I don't think my camera is gonna be able to do justice to what my eyes is seeing right now. Um, but let me switch the light on. We're gonna see what it looks like in the daytime. So you can see it still looks stunning. Now in this room, I'm using a 100 watt white bulb. And when I switch that bulb on, it is very hard for any projector to look good. And this looks good guys with the light on. Now I'm gonna switch that light back off. Wow, I'm impressed. So let's go ahead and play a few more trailers and see what this thing can do. Well, we all live by one simple rule. Elements cannot mix. She dropped out of school and then she ended up in a bad crowd. You'll learn how to garden. Are you satisfied? I had a vision. People burning. Everything destroyed. My name is Miles Morales. I think you know the rest. I was bitten by a radioactive spider. Some spider. Three women were strangled over the last two weeks. You're on the lifestyle desk. You're not covering a homicide. I think the murders are. <laughs> Today, my daughter, the Phoenix, will choose your future husband. In seven days. Okay, let's quickly test out Netflix. So you can see Netflix supports 4K HDR with 5.1 surround sound. Furthermore, Amazon Prime Video also lets you stream 4K HDR. And to complete the set, Disney Plus also supports 4K HDR and also HDR10. So people with sunglasses don't talk to people like this. Now this projector is trying to tick every single box there is You've got 4K streaming across the board, guys. Really happy to see that. So with streaming out the way, I am gonna to switch to HDMI and we are gonna to connect to the PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5 is connected and the resolution we are currently set on is native 4K with HDR10. So let's just play a whole bunch of games and see how they play. This is my gig. You want your share? How about we avoid crates from now on? Are they dead? I mean, more dead? Boy. Not dead, not dead! Remember, accuracy over speed. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. Big knee! Oh, 
So this projector has 16 gigs of internal storage and after setting up all my apps and software I have 12 gigs free to use. And a quick look in about you can see that this is actually running Android TV OS version 10. To access the main projector settings you need to press the input button on the top right hand corner. So not only can you change inputs at the top from HDMI to Android TV but underneath you will also find all your projector settings. Now under picture settings you will find a bar to adjust your brightness and you have a whole bunch of presets including a custom preset so you can fine tune things yourself. By default HDR is switched on. Now if we go back under audio you've got master volume then you've got some presets that you can use along with custom audio preset. Image correction. You've got one click focusing keystone correction as your first option. You have your auto and manual keystone correction options. You've got automatic screen fit, auto focus, and you've got manual focus correction as well. And right at the bottom, you've got screen zoom. So I've got it at 100%, so that is the full image. But if you wanted to scale it down, you can scale it down to 50%. All right, so I just want to give you a quick demonstration of the auto keystone correction. So if I overlap the side of the wall a little bit, and you can see it's overlapping the ceiling a little bit too. So now it's automatically focusing and it should correct that image for us any second now. Okay, it's done it. So you can see the keystone correction has done its job. We are no longer overlapping the wall and it auto corrected that itself. So I'm gonna bring it back into the center and then you can see the auto keystone correction and auto focus has kicked in again. And there you go, image corrected. So really, really good autofocus and auto keystone correction. So if you wanted to use this projector as a standalone Bluetooth speaker, you can do that as well. And let me tell you right now, the speakers are really loud and clear. So it would probably make a pretty decent large Bluetooth speaker. Now under about, you've got projection info, contact us, and you've got two QR codes so you can download the Nebula Connect app. Now inside the box, you will find your paperwork, quick start guide, You've got the Nebula 4K streaming dongle. So this is basically your mini streaming TV box. It's got a mini HDMI connection at the bottom and a micro USB connection at the top. And I'll show you where this goes, but this will enable your 4K streaming apps like YouTube, Netflix, your Android TV OS, etc. Now this also comes with a power cable, a small handy remote control, and you'll notice that there is a Google Assistant button. So a built-in microphone, this is most likely to be a Bluetooth and infrared remote control, and you have shortcuts for YouTube, Netflix, Prime, and Disney+. Plus. Now the remote is powered by two AAA batteries, and the batteries are included in the box. So there you have it, guys. That was the Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K Projector. Now everything about this projector has absolutely exceeded my expectations. The projector quality is out of this world. With a native 4K resolution supporting HDR10, movies and games look amazing, super bright, detailed, with great color accuracy and contrast. This projector can actually be used in the daytime with all the lights on and still give you a great home cinema experience. The intelligent environment adaption works extremely well with all the sensors working together to give you a very effective autofocus, keystone correction, auto screen fit and advanced eye guard. The included ATV dongle gives you 4K streaming across the board which is really nice to have. The Bluetooth remote control is very responsive and voice searches work great. The sound quality blew my mind. I have not heard any projector with sounds like this one. I actually have to keep the volume at around 50% as it's too loud for my small room. This sound will easily fill a large room. Projector fan is also fairly quiet in operation at only 38 decibels. So to sum this one up, here is my top performing video projector chart of 2023, allowing you to compare the specs and prices of all the latest projectors. And all the projectors on this chart are ranked by projection quality and overall features. So as you can see, the Nebula Cosmos 4K has taken position two on this chart, making it one of the best full-size projectors I have tested on the channel so far. Now I do hope you found this video useful. Do check out the links in the description box for more info, prices, special offers, etc. If you have any questions, you guys know exactly what to do. Please support the channel by hitting the like and sub button. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.